Hi, this is Steve Knight and welcome to Blackwell Global's daily market update. Starting with the Euro, and the pair finally managed to discover some volatility and saw a 97 pip trading range to close up at the 1 spot 1463 mark. The US JOLTS job openings numbers did fall below estimates at 5.67 million, but the primary driver of the rally was technical. Subsequently, the pair based against the 100-hour MA and rose above the high for 2017, taking out a key ceiling in the process. Fundamentally, the pair is now likely to focus on the EU industrial production and US page book results. In contrast, the cable fell, despite initially swinging above the previous day's high in the London session following some less than hawkish comments from the Bank of England's broadband. Subsequently, the pair moved back below the 100-hour MA and the 38.2% retracement level to close the day out around the 1 spot 28.45 mark. Moving forward, the fundamental trend should now focus upon the UK employment change figures and the Fed's Janet Yellen, who is due to speak shortly. Finally, turning to the dollar yen and the pair started the New York session with plenty of support but the rise stalled around the 114 spot 50 mark and quickly reversed to close lower at 113 spot 95. Much of the moves were in response to increasing political risk around the Trump-Russia investigation and lower stock prices. Moving forward, monitor the Fed chairperson's pending speech and the Japanese Tertiary Industry Activity Index result. Well, that's all I've got for you today. This is Steve Knight with Blackwell Global. Thanks for watching.